Are you not entertained? If that iconic line from Gladiator still gives you goosebumps, then get ready to embark on a journey through time. It's been over two decades since Maximus, Decimus, Meridius rallied the crowds in the Colosseum. But have you ever wondered what the brave warriors and cunning schemers of Ridley Scott's epic masterpiece look like today? From Russell Crowe himself to the movers and shakers of Hollywood, this is what the Gladiator cast looks like today. Russell Crowe Russell Crowe, the powerhouse behind Maximus and Gladiator, has been on quite the journey since his days in ancient Rome. This guy isn't just a one-hit wonder. After gripping audiences with Gladiator, Crowe's career skyrocketed. Remember A Beautiful Mind? That's where he transformed into the troubled genius John Nash, winning himself an Oscar nomination. Then he steered his talent into high seas adventure as Captain Jack Aubrey in Master and Commander, the far side of the world. Crow even made waves on the small screen, sinking his teeth into the role of Roger Ailes in the TV show The Loudest Voice. Yep, Russell Crowe may have changed drastically in appearance, but his acting chops still remain the same. Connie Nielsen Connie Nielsen, the beautiful Danish actress who ruled as Lucilla in Gladiator, has been on a wild ride since the Colosseum. She didn't just settle for one epic role, she's been conquering screens left and right. From intense thrillers like One Hour Photo to gripping TV dramas like The Following, Nielsen's been everywhere, showing off her acting like the pro that she is. And not afraid to dive into the superhero scene either. Yep, you've seen her as the regal queen Hippolyta in the Wonder Woman movies. Is there anything she can't do? Nielsen's career journey has been like a roller coaster, thrilling, full of twists and turns, and always leaving us wanting more. Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin Phoenix, the enigmatic talent who mesmerized audiences as Commodus and Gladiator, has taken the Hollywood world by storm since ancient Rome. This guy isn't just an actor, he's a chameleon. Yep, there's no danger of Phoenix being typecast. After his villainous turn in Gladiator, Phoenix showed off his acting in a whole range of flicks. In Walk the Line, he transformed into the legendary Johnny Cash, and boy did he nail it. And he didn't stop there, Phoenix blew us away with his haunting performance in Joker, earning himself an Academy Award and etching his name in cinematic history. And just when you thought you had him figured out, he's back with more surprises, diving into daring and thought-provoking projects like You Were Never Really Here. Joaquin Phoenix isn't just an actor, he's a master of his craft. Ralph Muller Ralph Mahler, the powerhouse who rocked as Hagen in Gladiator, hasn't just been lounging around since his days in the arena. This guy's been working hard, kicking butt and taking names all over Hollywood. After flexing his muscles in the Coliseum, Mahler didn't stick to one genre. Nope, he's been all over the map. Ever since the Scorpion King? Yep, that's him, cracking jokes and throwing punches. But Mahler's not just about laughs, he's got serious acting abilities too. He dominated the screens in the Viking sagas and had audiences on the edge of their seats. And when he's not busy dominating the big screen, Mahler's out there dominating the world of fitness and bodybuilding. This guy's a real life superhero, rocking muscles and movie roles. You wouldn't want to mess with Mahler. Derek Jacoby Derek Jacoby, the acting wizard who starred as Senator Gracchus in Gladiator, hasn't slowed down one bit since his Roman days. This guy's like fine wine, he just keeps getting better with age. After leaving his mark in ancient Rome, Jacoby went on to conquer the entertainment world with his charm and talent. From Shakespearean classics to modern hits, he's done it all, and made it look easy. You might have caught him stealing scenes in the King's Speech, or tugging at heartstrings in The Last Tango in Halifax. But Jacoby isn't just about the silver screen, he's a stage superstar too wowing audiences with his powerhouse performances in plays like Hamlet and Uncle Vanya. With his wit, charm, and undeniable talent, Derek Jacoby proves that age is just a number when it comes to ruling the acting kingdom. Ridley Scott, Director Ridley Scott, the genius director who brought us the unforgettable gladiator, isn't just your average filmmaker, he's a cinematic genius. After giving us a front row seat in the Coliseum action, Scott didn't pump the brakes. He kept the show rolling with a string of jaw-dropping movies that'll blow your mind. Who could forget Blade Runner, taking us on a futuristic thrill ride like no other? And let's not forget Alien, 
the spine-tingling classic that made us all question what lurks in the depths of space. But Scott's not all about sci-fi. He's got range, from historical epics like Kingdom of Heaven to adrenaline-pumping dramas like Black Hawk Down. He's proven he can tackle any genre. This guy is the real gladiator of Hollywood. Jaiman Honsu Jaiman Honsu, the captivating actor who stole hearts as Juba in Gladiator, has been on a Hollywood adventure since playing an ancient warrior. After battling in the arena, Hansu kept going with a whole range of unforgettable performances. In Blood Diamond, he teamed up with the legendary Leonardo DiCaprio and blew us away with his raw emotion and intensity. And then there was In America, where he had us reaching for tissues with his heartfelt portrayal of a struggling immigrant. But Hansu's not just a big screen star, he's conquered TV too, popping up in hit series like Wayward Pines and The King's Man. Yes, Jaimon can do it all, and Gladiator was only the beginning. He's come a long way since the Colosseum, that's for sure. Chick Allen Meet Charlie Chick Allen, a Scottish superstar who's not just any actor and musician, but a real-life gladiator. Born on February 27, 1963, Chick's got the kind of talent that makes you want to shout, are you not entertained? Nobody can play the bagpipes quite like him, but wait, it gets better. Chick's claim to fame isn't just his killer acting chops, but his epic role in Gladiator, alongside none other than Russell Crowe. Yep, they were buddies on and off screen, with Russell even helping Chick out with his dream project, building a medieval Scottish village called Dunkerin. Talk about friendship goals. So here's to Chick Allen, the unique Highlander whose legacy shines as bright as the Colosseum itself. In the world of entertainment, he's not just a star, he's a gladiator of epic proportions. Tomas Arana Tomas Arana played General Quintus in Gladiator. But he isn't just a one-movie wonder, oh no, he's been hustling in Hollywood since his days in the Roman army. After his glory days in the Colosseum, Arana played a whole bunch of exciting roles. You might have spotted him in The Dark Knight Rises, where he added some serious depth as Wayne Enterprise's Big Shot. And he's even part of the MCU. That's right, he starred in none other than the Guardians of the Galaxy. He brought some serious star quality to the role of Kree Ambassador. But Arana's not just about big budget blockbusters, he's got range. From indie flicks to thrillers, he's shown he can tackle any role that comes his way. Tony Curran Tony Curran, the toughest nails gladiator assassin number one from Gladiator, has been on a wild ride since then. He's been popping up all over the place, showing off his acting skills in both movies and TV shows. He played De Toc Tar in Defiance, and audiences fell in love with his complex character in a crazy sci-fi world. And he didn't stop there. Curran also stepped into the shoes of the legendary Vincent Van Gogh in Doctor Who, bringing the troubled artist to life. Ever since then, curran has been jumping between historical dramas like Roots and gritty period pieces like Outlaw King. From swinging swords in ancient times to exploring futuristic realms, Tony Curran's journey post Gladiator has been one heck of a roller coaster. Spencer Treat Clark Meet Spencer Treat Clark, the young actor who played Lucius Verus in Gladiator. Despite starting his own career early, Clark has shown he's not a one trick pony. Remember him in Split? He had us all on the edge of our seats with his spooky performance alongside James McAvoy. Clark has also popped up on our TV screens in shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where he added some mystery to the Marvel Universe as Werner Von Strucker. Yep, this pint-sized child actor has come a long, long way, and we've got a feeling we haven't seen everything he's got to offer yet. Keep an eye out for this ex-gladiator star. Gianna Faccio Gianna Faccio, who played Maximus's loyal wife in Gladiator, has been up to some fascinating stuff since her time in the Colosseum. While she might not be in the spotlight as much as some other actors, she's been pulling strings behind the scenes. Yep, she's been working alongside the legendary Ridley Scott, not as an actress, but as a producer. Oh, and she's also his wife. How cool is that? Together, they've cooked up some cinematic treats like Prometheus and The Counselor. With her passion for storytelling and her knack for making things happen, Gianna Faccio is proving that there's more than one way to rock Hollywood. She's not just Maximus's wife, she's a serious Hollywood player. Talk about an icon. Richard Harris After playing the role of Marcus Aurelius in Gladiator, Richard Harris enchanted us as the iconic Albus Dumbledore in the magical world of Harry Potter. Fans couldn't get enough of his wisdom and whimsy at Hogwarts. 
Harris then flexed his acting muscles in The Count of Monte Cristo, bringing his trademark charm to the role of Abbe Faria. Talk about star power. Off-screen Harris's musical talents shone bright, with his soulful singing and songwriting captivating audiences. Sadly, the curtain fell on this Irish gem in 2002, but his legacy lives on in the hearts of fans worldwide. Raise your hands to Richard Harris, a true wizard of the silver screen. Adam Levy Adam Levy, the actor who portrayed the Roman senator in Gladiator, has been on a whirlwind of adventure since his days in ancient Rome. While you might not recognize him from the Colosseum, Levy's been making waves in the entertainment world. Since Gladiator, he's been hopping between TV shows and movies, showing off his acting chops in all kinds of roles. When he played Mosley in AD The Bible Continues, he brought history to life in a whole new way. Levy has also appeared in popular series like Nightfall, where he played the cunning Ten Creed, adding some medieval flair to his repertoire. Yep, nobody does historical roles quite like Adam Levy. Ruth Frendo Ruth Frendo's life took a dramatic turn after a terrifying holdup at just eight years old. But instead of letting her fear hold her back, she decided to pursue her passion for drama. Fast forward to her big break in Gladiator, shot right in her home country of Malta. Brendo landed a role as a Roman girl alongside the legendary Maximus himself. Talk about making a splash. But her talents didn't stop there. Brendo starred in hit TV series like One Star Hotel and Undercover, showcasing her versatility as an actress. From playing a thief in El Pesto to a snobbish lawyer, and even a psychiatrist in the comedic Oops, Brendo proves she can do it all, not just a talented actress. Brendo also wears many hats as a producer and talk show host for international radio programs. Plus, she's a go-to host for live events and festivals, earning her the title of one of Malta's sexiest women. Ruth Frendo's journey from robbery victim to screen vixen is nothing short of inspiring, proving that with passion and perseverance, anything is possible. Sven Ole Thorsen Sven Ole Thorsen, the towering presence who portrayed Tigress of Gaul in Gladiator, might be best known for his imposing physique and action-packed roles. But Thorsen's career extends far beyond the Gladiator arena. Since Gladiator, he's been flexing his acting muscles in a variety of projects. He played Ol the Swede in Mallrats, adding a touch of humor to the Kevin Smith comedy. But that's not all he's been up to. Thorsen has also made appearances in blockbuster hits like Gladiator, Conan the Barbarian, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Showcasing his versatility as both an actor and a stunt performer, Sven is a real-life action man, and no matter what he sets his mind to, he absolutely dominates. Omi Dijalili The comedic genius who portrayed a slave trader in Gladiator is basically a household name. While his role in the epic film showcased his talent for bringing laughter to the screen, his career has taken him far beyond the walls of the Colosseum. Since Gladiator, he's been tickling funny bones in all sorts of projects. He played Maillar in The Mummy, adding his unique charm to the action-packed adventure. He's also made audiences chuckle in TV shows like Doctor Who, where he played the delightfully quirky Professor Swain. And he's also dabbled in drama, appearing in films like The Infidel, where he showcased his range as an actor. And who can forget his surprise role in Mamma Mia 2? Yep, he's smashed it out of the park with every role he's played, and trust us, there's been a lot. Giorgio Cantarini Giorgio Cantarini, the young actor who portrayed Maximus' son Lucius in Gladiator, has grown up since his days in ancient Rome. His role in the cult classic captured hearts worldwide, and Cantarini has pursued a life in show business ever since then. Since Gladiator, he's continued to pursue his passion for acting. He was first known for playing the young Guido in Life is Beautiful, and was praised for his heartwarming performance, alongside Roberto Benigni and has starred in not one but two Academy Award-winning films. In more recent years, he's been spotted acting in the theater in New York City. Now this is one seriously dramatic transformation. David Schofield Meet David Schofield, the actor who portrayed Senator Falco in Gladiator. While his role in the epic film showcased his talent for playing cunning and manipulative characters, Schofield's career has been far from one-dimensional. Since Gladiator, he's been popping up in all sorts of projects, leaving his mark on both the big and small screens. Remember him as Mercer in Pirates of the Caribbean? Yep, that was him adding some pirate swagger to the high seas adventure. And there's more. Schofield has also appeared in hit TV shows like The Last Kingdom, 
where he portrayed the wise and weathered Bjorka, earning praise for his nuanced performance. David Schofield is a true acting legend. Nicholas McGoffey Nicholas McGoffey, the actor who portrayed Maximus, son and gladiator, might have had a small role in the epic film, but his journey since then has been anything but minor. While he might not be a household name, McGoffney has been steadily building his career in Hollywood. Since Gladiator, he's been working on various projects, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. He played young Marcus in The Other Boland Girl, making a memorable impression in the historical drama. He's also appeared in TV shows like The Crown, where he portrayed a young Prince Charles, adding depth and emotion to the beloved character. Nicholas may have aged, but he's doing better than ever.